So hey, let's talk Anarchist. Anarchist is a perk deck that launched with the Sydney character pack. Not only did that $5 investment come with the most controversial character this side of <coughs> and a gun that's less firearm and more doorstop, but it introduced the most chaotic perk deck this game has ever seen. Anarchist cuts your max health by half, but the amount of health you lose is turned into armor. 120% of that health becomes armor, in fact, and you gradually regenerate it over time, or with headshot kills. Naturally, this makes for an intense perk deck for pretty much any encounter. It makes for ridiculous builds. This is my go-to deck, my home territory, so let's get to it and crack out a couple builds. So this first build's a shotgun build, engineered for insanity. My core skills are close by ace, shotgun CQB, and impact ace, to overkill basic, bullseye, transporter ace, iron man basic, some specialized killing ace, nine lives, swan song, and feign death, all ace, bloodthirst, berserker, frenzy, lots of aces here. This goal is to make shotguns as potent as possible for maximum ammo efficiency and damage. And as for our firearms, let's start with the Raven, the primary shotgun which I've loaded with triple aught buck, the long barrel, the silent killer, and accuracy reduction boost. It's built into the skin in this case. The LED combo, if you have it, pretty much any other laser will do otherwise. And the flip up sight. This puts the Raven 18 shells to a tube, 151.5 damage. That's 212 with Frenzy, taking into consideration 273 when I get revived on Mayhem or above, with high enough stability and low enough accuracy to clean out rooms as needed. It's worth mentioning, with shotguns and payday, every pellet does the full amount of shotgun damage, but only one pellet's damage can go into effect at a time on an enemy. So if a guy gets hit with two pellets, it's doing the same as one pellet, or the entire shell. So you want to spread out the pellets as much as you can. That's why I went with low accuracy. When this thing runs empty, I'm switching to a high damage melee, probably one hit killing the guy in front of me, and then... Honestly, Bloodthirst is probably one of the core skills here. If you didn't have it, this shotgun's pretty much useless. My secondary could be almost any shotgun, really, except for the Street Sweeper. That just sucks. But for this build, either the Judge or its big sister, the GSPS 12 gauge, will do us just fine. In this case, I'm using the GSPS because. Mmm! Silent Killer, Riot Barrel, Stakeout Stuck, and an LED combo, and this thing is good to go. Again, the Judge does the same amount of damage, and though it has a smaller magazine, it's got a higher rate of fire. So if you don't have any homemade goat disposal tools on hand, store bought is fine. The armor for this build is the Lightweight Ballistic Vest, and my melee of choice is the Ice Pick because I like how it swings. Any melee with 450 charge damage can take out pretty much any enemy on the screen, if boss is excluded, in one hit with enough bloodthirst stacks, and I wouldn't advise taking a faster, weaker melee since you'll lose all of them after one swing. I went with Molotovs as my throwable just to take care of choke points without expending my ammo, but incendiary grenades, explosives, pretty much anything will do in that slot. So how does this build work? Exactly as you expect it to, it's a shotgun build. Overkill keeps guns doing 75% more damage and plays very, very nice with Frenzy, and I quickly rack up enough bloodthirst stacks to literally melee the next enemy I see for a kill, which lets me reload my guns that much faster. This build demolishes Overkill and Below, and it plays nicely with Mayhem and Deathwish. Shotgun's not your thing though? Well, luckily the same type of formula can make literally any weapon better. I even used it last in my two different snipers video, I'll link to that in the description and a card above. What about fast light weapons, like, uh, Kimbo pistols? Actually, yeah, well, let's do that. This build starts a lot like the last one, with Ace Transporter, Bullseye, and Iron Man Basic, but I don't take any shotgun skills. Instead, I head over to Oppressor for Ace Steady Grip, Fire Control, and Basic Lock and Load. Ghost also sees me use, so I'm acing all the silencer skills but Optical Illusions, I'm taking Low Blow, and I'm grabbing Ace Hidden Pockets. Lastly, I pick up Ace Equilibrium, Gun Nut, and Akimbo, Basic 9 lives, and we keep our Bloodthirst Berserker Frenzy garbage. All you really need to do to adapt one Anarchist build to another is keep Brawler and Tank the way they are and dump the remaining points into your weapons of choice. In this case, pistols, like the Bernetti 9s. These are, by and large, the best of the Akimbos because of their fast firing speed, plentiful mags, and all around great damage per second. The Jungle Ninja Suppressor, a Micro Laser, Engraved Grips, the Extended Mags, and Elite Slides are rounding out these guns to do just under 50 damage a shot. Firing two shots to equal 100 damage a click, or to be exact, 140 damage at the bare minimum, 180 if I get revived on Mayhem or above. Yikes. 
My secondary is the broomstick, because it's easy to take. The downside, well, it's concealment. This is not a dodge weapon. From my last build is a challenge. A standard issue suppressor, a micro laser, extended mag, and a precision barrel are all the mods I'm taking. No stock, no sight, and it sits just at 21 concealment, putting me just under 25 detection risk. That's a 10% crit chance for a gun that either shoots two rounds a click and a thousand rounds a minute, or 10% crits on a gun doing 326 to 420 damage a shot. And this build tears its way through most difficulties, no sweat. If you're on the point break heist, the ice pick will keep you under 25 detection while wearing the light ballistic vest. Otherwise, you're going to have to live with 9% crit chance with the Alfred Dugo, or opt for the suit and miss out on 40 more armor. This build is very fast and very furious, and it eats its way through most enemy skulls in a matter of seconds. If you find yourself cornered, tossing down an incendiary grenade or spraying some 9 mil rounds into the crowd will bring them down. Just be wary about snipers, especially with this build. You've got no swan song. So that's about it. That's two different anarchist builds. Okay, they're not terribly different, are they? Sure, but what can you expect? Anarchist makes armor skills and especially frenzy an absolute cakewalk to run, and that's the real takeaway here. Makes it very easy to stay in the firefight, keep out putting damage like nobody's business, and makes a good candidate for a powerful melee brawler build. I hope this video inspired you to consider where you can run Anarchist, and until next time, see you around.